So now we begin with the gates of Gibura. Now there are 14 gates of Gibura. Now this is a, uh, an important step in the whole uh, process of the I self-realizing itself. So the solitary self in its process of realization has realized that it is part of a huge collective of awarenesses, several different collectives of awareness. And we left off with the solitary self bringing the absolute best of itself to the collective, offering its own gift to the collective. So now, the solitary self, its focus is on realizing, self-realizing, what is that gift that it brings to the collective? What is that power that it alone possesses within the collective? And that is Gebura, severity. <clears throat> okay, and Gebura is a very very intensely powerful realization of the specific power that the uh, uh, solitary self possesses. Okay. So our first gate of Gebura is the path, the hidden path from Kether into Gebura. Now, from the universal perspective, we start in the eye. An infinite ocean of awareness, that undifferentiated ocean of all awareness it is one thing. Now we look down at Gebura and we see that all of the solitary cells within it are realizing their own power. And we descend, the whole of the eye descends into Gebura, the whole body of the <coughs> solitary cells amidst this realization of their own power. So the whole of the eye is realizing all of the powers of its reflections and it's experiencing the great power of each one of these solitary cells simultaneously. <laughs> it's an amazing explosion of power. This is the power of the collective. The whole body of the collective, its powers. And it's with these powers that the cosmos is created, caused, comes to be. <clears throat> So, and then we rise back up to Kether, that infinite simplicity of the I. Okay. So, <clears throat> from this, we learn that connection between the I and all of its powers causing the cosmos. Okay, we learn what that connection is, what that power is, what the source of all of that power is. Uh, Paul Foster's case, cases uh, statement for Kether was, all the power that ever was or will be is here now. And this is the power 
that causes the cosmos, that fills the cosmos, that is the cosmos. We learn that from this transition. Now, at a personal level, we start again in Kether, united with the I, and we descend along this hidden path directly and very quickly into our own their own solitary self realizing its own power, its own special gift to the cosmos and it is filled with Kether. It is the power of Kether. It is that little reflection of the Kether that we alone possess the special little reflection, this our own little bit of essential meaning of the whole that we reflect. And it is our contribution and his source is Kether. And then we rise up again to Kether. And from this, we learn the source of our own unique power, our own unique gift. Its source is in Kether. And here, through this path, we can tap into that, that original power behind our own special unique gift. So that's the first gate, the linear gate. Second gate is also a linear gate. It's the gate between Gebura, well, between Bina and Gebura. Okay? We descend along the, the pillar of severity from Bina essential form, that first crystallization of form, that first expression of essential meaning, that undifferentiated state, and we descend through the Akasha from our greater self into uh, our solitary self. We bring that, the greater self, the essence of the greater self, into the solitary self. And we do that through the path of Daleth, which means door. And this is the path of Mars. That is the individualizing power of Mars, okay? So, from the universal perspective, we start in Bina. We are the whole body of the I expressing itself through essential form, as <clears throat> essential form, ever-changing form, infinite form form, ever-changing, only form itself is eternal, all the forms just appear and disappear and constantly changing and reappearing, oh, constant change, and we descend through the path of Mars the strength of Mars into the whole body of solitary, of solitary selves who are self-realizing their own power. So the power of Kether comes through 
the central form into each and every single one of the solitary cells. They each have their own perfect form. And it's so powerfully transmitted by Mars into all of the solitary cells. And it's, again, it's just this explosion of power. All the power of Bina is translated into an infinite number of forms in Gebura, each of which is unique and has its place in the collective, in the cosmos, plays its part in the cosmos. And then we travel back up to Bina, undifferentiated form, where all of that form, all of the inevitabilities in Bina exist. Okay? <clears throat> Now, this is a really complex lesson about the form of each of the solitary selves of Gebura, where the eye is really taking form for the first time, and it's an infinite number of forms that it takes. And they're all temporary. This is the temporal realm where everything lives and dies, where every form is temporary. Remember, only form itself is eternal, but all forms are temporal. They're temporary. Here in Gebura are the longest existing forms of the, of the solitary selves. The solitary selves are the longest living forms. Okay? They're not eternal. They don't last forever. But they do last for a hell of a long time. And of course, the length of that time varies. Each is unique and individual. So each one will last its own amount of time. It will incarnate over and over during that span of time. Each one of its incarnations are very brief in comparison in general, there are some who have only one incarnation that lasts just an incredibly long span of time. And others have billions of incarnations lasting only moments. Okay? Each is different, and this teaches us about that process. And at a personal level, we start in Bina as our greater self. And we descend into Gibura along through the doorway, as it were, along the path of Mars. This is a very energetic, uh, very strident sort of path. And we descend with our unique gift, our unique faculties, our unique form 
into Gebura as our solitary self. And the uniqueness of our form travels so strongly down this path from our greater self. Our greater self puts its imprint upon its solitary self, upon us. This is the imprint of our greater self. And it is, I mean, it, it forms who we are, okay? It is who we are, what we give to the collective comes directly down this path from our greater self. It is a strong imprint. And then we travel up that path. And we let go <clears throat> of our solitary self and return to the greater self and learn about the nature of that imprint of who we are. That transition. <coughs> <coughs> that transition from the greater self to the solitary self. <clears throat> and yes, we learn what it means to be us. What makes us different? What makes us so special? Amongst all the others that are special, equally special, equally unique, equally significant, okay? So this is the gift that we have to give to the collective and informing the cosmos. This is the part we play, okay? And this is vital information. <laughs> we need to discover what that is inside of us that is so unique, that sets us apart from everything else in the cosmos, okay? That's what we learn here in Gebur. And this is the first lesson in what that means, okay? <clears throat> now the third gate is triangular and it puts it into context, okay? And <clears throat> it starts in Bina passes down the path of Mars into Gambura, then up that hidden path to Kether, and then down the path of Vav back into Bina. Okay. And then reverse Bina, Vav, Kether, hidden path to Gambura, Mars to Bina. So, <clears throat> from the universal perspective, we're in Bina as that whole body of essential form. We are ready to give birth to the cosmos and we pass it down into the whole body of solitary cells, self-realizing their own importance and their own power their own roles in forming the cosmos and we pass up the hidden path back together. The simplicity of the eye. And then we pass down the path of Vav, of perfection of form back to Bina where all form is absolutely perfect. And then we pass back up to Kether, and then down that hidden path to Gebura, and then back up 
Dubina. <clears throat> yeah, this puts it all into context. <clears throat> The, the main uh, statement being made in this gate is the passage from Kether to Bina, that path of Vav, and how every form is perfect, and that passes down into Gebura and all of the solitary selves forming the cosmos, and it is perfect. It all fits together in perfection, okay? That's the main lesson of this gate. <clears throat> and what you now we have to learn from the gate about the perfection of what each solitary self contributes to the cosmos and the ultimate perfection of the cosmos. It's perfect. <laughs> and then from the personal perspective, we start again in Bina as our greater self and we pass down with that imprint of self into our solitary self. And we, we, we revel in what we have to offer. And we rise up along that hidden path very quickly and together. And we offer our gift to the eye. And then we pass down that path of perfection into our greater self. And we pass back up to the eye and pass back down to Gebura and return to the greater self. And again, the main lesson here is that passage from Kether to Bina. And we see how the gift that we, we only possess, that strong imprint from Bina, comes from Kether. That is the imprint of Kether manifesting through us and through us alone. We complete the universe. Our gift completes the universe. It's crucial. We give that to the universe. We participate in the collective of the universe in that way, through that special gift. Whether we give it now in this moment or not, inevitably, we contribute that specific, special, absolutely essential ingredient in due time. Because we exist. We are a part of the universe a very powerful part of the universe, a reflection of the I who composes, that composes the universe. The universe, the cosmos, is the I. 
And whether we, we realize it or whether we want to or not, we contribute that little part that makes the whole cosmos possible. So, <clears throat> those are the first three gates of Gebura. The next four are the next video. Until then.